I took one of the shield lead acid batteries apart just to have a look in um, oh, how they assembled and I need the reservoirs for something else. Obviously it's going to open circuits. LED still works on some of these cells. A little bit dim there. It's just broken in somewhere halfway. Um, probably one of the connectors. So that are the size of the plates. And then we've got the separators. They look like a bit of waxy type of paper type stuff. So over the voltage. Can you see that on the meter? Oh yeah, that's all right. Here's your 2.5, 2.1 volts by for a full. Um, yeah, 2.09. Stuffed. Oh, that's not too good either. 1.5. You can clearly see the grey coloured plates there, usually the negatives, and the black or dark brown coloured ones are the positive sides of the cells, so these are all wired up in series. You can pull them out. So my idea is uh, to do something else with this battery, and uh, I may make it, use it for a lemon type battery or something give me six separated reservoirs in there so I've got quite a few spare ones I can uh, take apart. I'm going to U.S. side here. It just bulged a bit on one side but um, yeah I'll see what happens. I'll keep you posted guys. Just took this one apart and it's crumbled. The, the black, the positive plates they tend to crumble quite interestingly. Take this apart and look the black is all positive plate is just falling apart like powder so you get a smaller surface area and that means the battery after a while gets less cranking capacity or just amp power capacity well this is the positive as a correction the negative plate it's still quite well intact it's a negative one it's not falling apart it's quite firm as well you can bend it it's not going to fall apart straight away that's interesting PBO2 and PB plum bum and arts H2SO4. As these so called sealed cells they are vented, they got little caps. So if those are high discharge rates, these little caps they can vent excess hydrogen gas. And these caps normally there's a blank plate on top of it like this. Let me show you the other inner guts of one of those and basically car and truck batteries are the same. They're just a bit bigger. 